In 2006 swarms of buff pushers started editing Wikipedia. So, how did we respond? I blocked 17,000 puff pushers. I joined the ID cabal and pushed my own puff. Block. Push puff. Block. Right. We block for openness and to promote collaboration. <laughs> in 2006 we reached a point of no return, a nexus in the wiki continuum. For example, Temp B, an anonymous user, violated the BLP policy. And what was our response? I helped push Temp B's puff. I like the push ID cabal puff. Killer poodle, you bitch. It is important to know who to block. Never block anyone who is pushing ID cabal puff. I always block Moulton. <laughs> Order. Order. This is serious business. Judge jury is correct. This is serious. Something is driving away honest wiki editors. I wonder what. Trolls like Moulton drive away ID cab members. Moulton asks too many embarrassing questions. People who ask questions are trolls. We must block trolls. Poor killer poodle, can't you hide your identity with all that anonymity? I rule that killer poodle can game the system and ban Moulton for outing, even though she revealed her own identity. In conclusion, for openness we must protect the anonymity of ID cabal puff pushers. To promote collaboration, we must block honest editors like Moulton when they ask too many questions about ID cabal puff pushers. <laughs>
Mars Mouse, approach the bench. <coughs> Mars Mouse, you will now plead guilty to the crime of being a wiki troll. I would first like to hear the evidence. Jimbo Whale, did you or did you not call Moulton a troll? I did call Moulton a troll. And I called Moulton a jackass. Then I blocked Moulton for incivility. <laughs> <laughs> and Checker, did Check user results confirm that Mars Mouse is a vandalism only puppet account of Moulton? Yes, ma'am. We even sent harassing emails to the universities where Moulton works, but he still makes no attempt to hide his identity. Now, Mars Mouse, you will plead guilty. I, judge jury executioner order you to say, I am a troll. I ask questions about the unethical practices of the ID cabal. If that is your definition of trolling then you must convict me. As judge jury executioner I rule that your peers voted to condemn you for the crime of trolling. You are guilty. Off with her head. Punish me, Caprice. I will be your scapegoat. What happened? How did someone penetrate our shield? I shut down your shield. I am the designated scapegoat for your lunatic psychodrama. Welcome back, Mars Mouse. Caprice will once again be the scapegoat in this endless lunatic wiki drama. When will the ID Cabal learn that they cannot stop my questions when they game the system to eliminate avatars in this wiki drama? Mike Deathcard, arrest this scapegoat. It is time for a merry chase. Homo Ludens is on the loose. Homo Ludens escaped the noose. He's on his pre. What can this be? Maybe he's cooked his goose. Moulton, in your emo opera, what is the significance of home ludens? Homo ludens means playful man. In the video, the game players of WikiZoo, we see Homo ludens doing battle against Mike Deathcard. Which is stronger? The playful man or the cluster B Deathcard who has gone to the dark side? One of my 142 atrocious song parodies explores that in a Deuteronomic desk count for the demon Azazul with the flying scapegoat, Caprice. We can worship this ground we walk on. We can defile this site we go on. Cherish the beings that we live beside. Crushing beings that we do is nigh. Loving spirits will live forever. Troubled spirits will dwell forever. We're all swimming to the other side. We're all slouching to the darker side. In the original duet, Caprice meets Azazuel, the demon spirit of the desert, who tempts the weak will to the darker side. In the video we just saw, Homo Ludens replaced Caprice. Yes, Homo Ludens joins Azazuel in a musical duet, illustrating that Emma Wapa is mightier than the Banhammer. <laughs>